just we could just come off stage. Yes. Good gig. Yeah. 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 25 years of gigging. Yeah, yeah. And, and any gig where we don't get rotten vegetables chucked at us is a good one. <laughs> a lady's underpants I actually caught on the headstock of the guitar once. And they were dangling there for the rest of the set. It's quite, right. that was quite nice. I think she was about 70. Right. But um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, although we play bluesy rock music, we are a punk band in spirit because it's a right. do it yourself attitude. Right. You know, and hence the hem hamster's name. When, when the Sex Pistols had the Grundy fallout, mm. they used to book as the hamsters. That's right. And hence, hence the name. Yeah, well, we, we do have it on our, on our letterhead and kind of everything we send out to the media. This is why we're called the hamsters. Right. But, you know, it doesn't always kind of like work its way through to the audience. I thought there was a hamster on stage, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had a guy threaten us with the RSP. PCA at one gig. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's one in every crowd. But <laughs> as if we carry livestock, do you know right. what I mean? You know. Yeah, right. Four and a half thousand gigs though. That's right. I mean Is that I mean what's the actual number? Have you got a precise number? I haven't added it up lately, but it's it, it, it's it's within a few of four and a half thousand, yeah. It's not far. I've got I've got to sit down and add it all up. You're not gonna go for the five thousand. Oh god, it? that's another three years. <laughs> Is it right? Yeah. We just started our 25th um, year of gigging. We, we're retiring at the end of 25 years because, you know, like a lot of the things, you think, well, how, how do we end this? Yeah. How do we end this? And um, we've been wondering what to do. It's full on. I know a lot of people see you walk on stage and kind of like, oh, like this. And, but, but unfortunately, there's like, there's another 90% of it that kind of is all the tedious stuff which so goes into a moment. What's the bit that saps the lifeblood out of you then? It's not so much that, it's just the fact that it's it's a long week. You yeah. know, it's about an 80 hour week and you do that for 25 years and kind of, you know, you have to put your life on hold in order to, to do that. And there's an awful lot of things I would like to do personally that I haven't had a chance to do because what we do, we're on the road a few days a week. I'm in the office a few days a week because we do everything ourselves. And it's a matter of dealing with all the venues, with all the media, and kind of booking hotels, booking PA systems, and all the all the sundry oh, right, stuff that so goes you just, on. You haven't got managers. No, 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 no. No, well, the, the trouble is, is that if you've got a manager, you've got to give him 25% of, of what it. 25? Well, yeah. 10. No, wow. no. Wow. No, a manager will take 25%, Jeez. and then a booking agent will take. 15% of the gross. This is all from the gross. So it's yeah, like, you know, yeah. never diminishing pot. Well, out of the 25 years, when did you discover don't have the people in the middle? Well, we were already you we, do that? we were already too old in the first place to be pop stars when we started. So that was never our intention. It was a matter of we were just wanted to play music for a living yeah. and have a bit of fun. And, and I'm proud to say I've never had to wear a suit in my life. And, you know, a lot of people say, when are you guys going to make it? <laughs> and by make it, they think that means seeing you fall out of a nightclub with Paris Hilton on the front page of The Sun. But yeah. You know, when you reach a certain age, you realise making People it is... People really say that when you're oh, yeah, yeah, because they, 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 they think, you know, they see the stuff on the telly and they think that's what making it is. But for anyone yeah. who's kind of like approaching middle age, you know, you've made it when you kind of don't have to wear a suit for a living. Yeah. You know, or, or when you can enjoy what you do. I yeah. think, you know, that's, that's most anyone can ask for what they... out of their life. And I used to work in the record industry anyway before we did this, and so I, I had an idea of how the whole thing worked, and so it enabled me to kind of know how to put our own records out and how to book our own gigs and yeah. I used to plug stuff to Radio One you know and stuff like that so so I know all the the, the infrastructure of the way things yeah. are done so it, yeah it made it an awful lot easier I mean we didn't have to pay anyone to do it but when you're doing it yourself unfortunately there's only so many hours in the day which means that you know we haven't been able to spend as much time being creative as we would like you know it's been a lot of fun and we've got another year to go yet but the thing is, it's just, you know, just mentally quite tired from 25 years of full-on, blinkers-on, yeah, yeah. haven't really had a break. I mean, people have said this to me, oh, you won't be able to stick it, you won't be able to stick it, but they say, oh, status quo... not playing? Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. I mean, people said, oh, status quo retired in 1981, and then... But, yeah, they were probably about 40. I'm nearly 60. You know, so I'm kind of at the age where you think about slowing down and stopping yeah, a bit. You know? yeah. The other thing is, is, like, I don't ever want us to be in a situation where we're kind of losing our potency if you know what i uh -huh. mean if we started turning in in different shows right then you've got, I, th you've got pride in your, the work absolutely you, do, you know I, I wouldn't want anyone to say oh they're not as good as they used to be you know right. and right. people who've been seeing us for years say oh, you guys keep getting better which is great you know and i want us to keep getting better 25 years of that on yeah. the go on, well, the ham on the hamster wheel exactly then then what i mean it just does it come to a halt or yeah you yeah up gardening yeah. or you're taking up bowls what are you going to do no i'm um I really want to just have a few months of doing what Charlie Watts says and just potter about. Just want to potter. Get slippers. Yeah. I, I, I've got 
a lot of movies I want to see, a lot of books I've got I want to read. You know, at the moment I have to read loads of music magazines. When you're on the move, aren't you watching films the whole time? Isn't that how it no, works? No, no, no. There's sometimes because when I'm at home, I'm like staring at a computer screen all day long, like a lot of people, because I'm in I'm in the office. You know, I'm in, like email, email, yeah. email, and then it's just nice not to. You know, not to focus on something in front of you. Yeah, so right. it's not, you know, so the reading thing, I kind of don't oh, do in the van. I just sit there staring into the middle distance trying to relax, <laughs> you know. But no, it, it'll be nice to kind of basically just let my head clear. That, that's the thing. It's just to let your head clear and have a it's few really months. fascinating. After 25 years of yeah. being on the go, yeah. to then stop. I mean, it, it, I don't know, it just sort of feels like it must be a really going to be an odd experience you must have thought about it I have. you're obviously a cognitive yeah player. yeah well I so say we've got we've got, we've got another year to go so um, but no it will be wonderful to just to just relax mm. for a chance just to have a chance to relax and I've never really had a decent long break where I can just switch off yeah we have to deal with an awful lot of people what we call tea drinkers that are kind of like you know, they're all on a wage, they're all on a nice pension, whereas folks like us that, you know, we live and die on how many people come to see us. Yeah. And, and when, when you talk to self-employed people, you know, and, and then that's another aspect of being nice to, to stop, is the fact that, you know, I've just done like a, four weeks of gigs with like colds. I've had two colds oh, in wow. succession. You can't stop. You, you can't, can't say, I've got a line I mean, you can cancel and... the work, but you don't, no one pays yeah, you. You don't yeah, get sick pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it takes six months to kind of reschedule that gig because everyone works so far in advance. What do you do? You mean vitamin C, echinacea? You, you try and do all that stuff. Your throat. The worst thing is it's shaking hands with people. Because I used to be a microbiologist in another life, and people go, oh, yeah. So people go, ah, ah, ah. Hey, nice I'm to eight. meet you, yeah. yeah. And, and they do. And I've right. had people come up to me like this, going, oh, I'm, I'm so sick, man. I, I, I didn't want to miss a gig. I had a shocking flu, and I really weren't. Oh. I just wanted to share it with you. I yeah. wanted to share it. I mean, I'm quite happy to talk to the punters. You can sort of understand Michael Jackson with his... With know, the gloves. The, yeah, yeah, absolutely, because right. they, they give you the germs. And, they, and when you're a singer, you don't need all this coughing and spluttering in yeah. your face. Enjoy your time, relaxing time. Thanks we'll for coming back to Venda. So we're more than happy to come back to the Isle of Wight. We love it here. So. Good. Much appreciated. Thanks, Thanks Simon. Sorry yeah. if I witted on too much. Not nice. Nice one. Mm -hmm. All right, Thanks. Cheers.